Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photolia, the stock photography community. In this video, I'll be answering a question from a viewer asking about putting text behind an object and the problems they've had with layer styles. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image all ready to go. Of course, it comes from Photolia. It's called Pouring Milk and you'll find more details up on the screen. Now I'd like to put this word fresh behind the milk and it's really quite simple. Now we've covered this in a previous video. There should be the name and the link up on the screen somewhere. But I'll do it very quickly again for us now. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of the text layer and then go on to my background layer, which has this nice blue background. Now, because it's all blue, I can use a very simple technique of select and color range. Now you can see I've already been playing around with this and I've already sorted it out, but all you need to do is click down on a color and then you can see the bottom right hand corner here hasn't been selected. So if I shift and then click, I add to the selection. Now my fuzziness is set to 80. 80 watt, I'm not really sure. It's not 80% because this slider goes up to 200, but 80 seems to work pretty well for this image. Now, while we're here, I'd like to draw your attention to this part of the selection here. You can see it's not quite white and it's not black, it's somewhere gray in the middle. That will be important later. You can see that that's sort of a semi-transparent part of the glass. Right, let's click OK. And we're back into Photoshop and we've got our marching ants signifying our selection. So let's go back onto our text layer and turn the visibility of that on. And then all we've got to do then is create a mask by clicking this icon here. And there we are. We've got our text behind the milk. Now I can move this around, but we've got a couple of problems here. If I get the move tool, if I grab hold of the fresh, if I start moving it around, you can see that I'm taking the mask and the letters together. So we don't want that. I'm going to control Z to go back. Now what I can do is I can come in between the two icons here. There's a representation of the mask and then there's the T for the text layer. And in between there's this link. If I unlink these, now if I click on the T, I can then move around the text without moving the mask. Similarly, if I wanted to, I could click on the mask now and I could move the mask without moving the text. Let's uh, control Z that. Right, let's add a layer style. Double click that, add a layer style. I'm gonna add a drop shadow. Now I can come onto the image and I can click and I can drag out where I want the drop shadow to be. So let's make it quite noticeable somewhere along there would be great. Now you'll notice here, the problem we've got is that the drop shadow now goes over the milk. And that's not right. So what we need to do is get that layer styles back again. There we go. I just moved it to another screen, by the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the blending options. And in there, we've got this checkbox that says layer mask hides effects. If I just click on that, you'll notice now that the mask is also hiding the drop shadow. Let's go on to the drop shadow and move this back into a bit more of a a nice position. There we go. And we'll click OK. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop the fill of this. So I click and I can drag to the left just to reduce the fill. And I've got something a little like that. I'm going to go back into the drop shadow and maybe make it a little bit more spread out and make the size a little bit bigger. And then let's drop the opacity a little bit as well. There we go. That looks a bit better. Click OK. Now, remember earlier on, I mentioned that little bit of mask that was in the greys, not the blacks and the whites. Let me show you why that was important. I've got the move tool again. If I move this down, you can see that we can see it through the glass. Now, this is slightly opaque, just as a glass would be. So that's made even the mask there of the glass really, really well. Now this is text, which means it's completely editable. So if I come over to my text layer and double click the T there, I can then write something else. Let's just pick a word out of the air. To there we go. And double click it. And I can reduce the size in my character panel. There we go. And let's get the move tool and move that into position. So there we go. We've masked out the text 
and we've masked out the layer style just by clicking on that little checkbox. I'm Eric Rano. Thank you very much for joining me here for Photolia. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up while you're there? I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.